hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about the concept of beer spread so if we want to uh, sell the stock and uh, we think that the stock price should go uh, down in the future and uh, we want to make profit from that then uh, obviously we can sell the stock in the market and uh, we hope to buy it in the future uh, to uh, make the profit but in that case there is uh, investment which is need to be made and there is a risk uh, which is one of the concern that uh, if the stock price goes up then we will be in trouble so beer spread is a good option uh, to uh, lower that risk and also lower the investment you are doing so suppose uh, let's do it in a graphical way to understand the concept so suppose uh, if we have uh, a stock uh, which is uh, at uh, ten dollars right now so if we uh, sell this stock at ten dollars then if the stock price goes down so this is our profit and this is stock price so if it goes down then uh, we will make profit but if it goes up in the price we will lose money right so our uh, investment so now here i am uh, assuming that uh, we have to um, uh, have ten dollars given to the broker to be able to sell the stock right normally if you are a bank that would not be the case but in no normally uh, if we use a broker and uh, we have to pay a certain amount of money uh, to be able to sell the stock and let's assume it to be 100 percent so your investment will be equal to 10 dollars right and your maximum loss will be equal to infinity because if stock price starts to go up it can go up anyways anywhere right so so there is no limit to how much loss you can have but uh, if you talk about maximum profit uh, that will be equal to uh, ten dollars because uh, most it can happen is that our stock is um, at value at zero and in that case you make all the ten dollars with you right so here the investment is high and the risk is very very high right so we want to lower the investment and we also want to lower the risk but still want to be able to make money if the stock price goes down so how will we do that now so before that let's look at the put options here so uh, so suppose uh, if we sell a put uh, at uh, uh, dollar 10 which is uh, so this is our strike price uh, so this is uh, uh, strike and uh, the cost is dollar uh, one or you can say let's say dollar two right so in this case uh, this is how our profit chart will look like uh, So our investment will be equal to dollar two, and uh, maximum loss again will be uh, minus two. So it will be dollar two. So uh, why dollar two is because we only invested two dollars here, and uh, so that should be our uh, maximum loss and uh, what is the maximum uh, profit that will be equal to uh, eight dollars because we invested two dollars in it uh, so uh, if stock price goes to zero make ten dollars but we invested two dollars so we we'll make a maximum profit of eight dollars so what we did here is if you compare both of these then you can see that uh, now we lowered the investment in by lowering the investment uh, we also lower the uh, the maximum loss so we lower the risk uh, and uh, that also resulted in uh, lowering the maximum profit so instead of making 10 now we were making 8 but we lowered both the investment and uh, the loss so now if you want to further uh, make more improvement to it so you can see that it says that the maximum profit is $8 but you don't think that it gonna go to zero right it, it the stock price if it's a normal scenario it's a good stock and uh, it's okay stock means but it's a it, there's no 
some crisis is not there going on or something but it's very unlikely that from ten dollars it will go to two dollars or three dollars or even zero dollars so so you think that uh, there's no point of me having this option for it to go to zero so you might want to sell uh, this option uh, of if stock price goes below eight dollars right so in this case uh, you can say that suppose you so here you buy right so you buy the put so let's say that you sell the put uh, at dollar uh, eight strike which is priced at dollar uh, one cost right so what the profit chart will look like is this um, so you um, make money if the stock price goes up and then you lose money if it goes down so this is profit this is stock so you are selling the put here you are buying the put right so in this case your investment so here you will get the money because you are selling the put so you'll get dollar one and uh, and your maximum loss will be equal to uh, because you got dollar one you're selling at strike eight so your maximum loss will be equal to seven dollars because uh, the stock can go to zero and you have to pay all the eight dollars but you receive one dollar so you will uh, lose seven dollars but your maximum profit here is also dollar one because uh, you will only gain your one dollar which you received for selling the put so if we combine both of these strategies together then that is what we call a beer spread so in the beer spread we'll have uh, a protection uh, against uh, the losses and uh, uh, in profit if the stock goes down so it will look like this so so in this case we have both of these scenarios together so we buy the put and sell the call so buy put at uh, strike 10 and uh, sell put at strike 8 right so in this case uh, what will happen is that uh, our total investment will be equal to dollar one because uh, we buy the uh, put at two dollars and then we sell one of the put for minus one uh, no so one dollar so that will be total investment of one dollar and our maximum profit will be equal to so no first of all maximum loss maximum loss equal to minus one because uh, our stock price uh, we, we invested total of one dollar so that is all we can lose and uh, the maximum profit will be equal to also uh, one dollar because uh, in this case uh, we uh, buy the put for ten dollars and uh, the maximum uh, it can go down is to eight dollars because after eight dollars we have already sold the put uh, but we will gain two dollars from that because we invested one dollar so we'll have a maximum profit of one dollar so as you can see that we did bet on the decrease in the stock price uh, we lower our risk uh, and we also lower our investment so if you compare this scenario uh, with the scenario here then uh, you will see that uh, the losses uh, are much less and uh, your investment is much lower however your maximum profit is also low but in this case uh, it should be reasonable because you think that stock price not gonna go below 20 percent or will not go way crazy to uh, five dollars or four dollars so you are uh, lowering your uh, profit limits but you're also lowering your uh, investment and the risk so but if you look at the beer spread by itself then you can see that the investment of one dollar so investment of one dollar uh, will give you a maximum loss of one dollar and also the maximum profit of uh, one dollar uh, which is uh, uh, almost hundred percent right so so therefore 
if you look at by itself then it's uh, very volatile but uh, if you compare it to the stock uh, it's much more uh, reasonable also and certain scenarios so so this gives you a option to expand your uh, investment to different stocks without uh, investing uh, in a single stock uh, so and also uh, lowering down your risk so uh, i hope this tutorial will help and uh, i'll see you uh, again in next tutorial thank you